Hi, welcome to SFG Cards and Craft. Today I'm going to be using the Whimsy Sketched Elephant Stamp Set and along with the dies and a few other assorted dies that I'm showing here uh, to actually do a, a, what I think is a really quite a cute card. Um, this is the Avery L uh, Pierce Clouds that's showing there. I'm using the Pierce Clouds and the grass from uh, la a lawn fawn meadow borders to actually um, cut onto a piece of plastic to make the mask. Um, I've already got the plastics cut so I'm not actually showing that on screen today. Um, here I'm actually using uh, the black soot, pa uh, sm hickory smoke, picked raspberry, um, broken china, crushed olives and I do later on, I ch was going to use shabby shutters but I actually later on uh, changed that to forest moss. You'll see me part way through change my mind about that. So. What I'm, I'm just setting up here to actually start getting painted. I'm using a quarter inch angle brush, um, Art Basics, I believe it is, Art Basics quarter inch angle brush. Uh, just blocking in at the moment, basically just covering the whole area where I want it to be dark or the grey, um, using the hickory smoke at the moment. They, I come in later on with the black soot just to do a bit of uh, shading. I actually haven't got any um, watercolour paint so I'm actually still using just the uh, Distress inks. I find that they are very good though as long as you actually can use a reasonably good quality uh, watercolour paper. The one I'm using is really not a, the best quality, it's a Canson, I would consider it to be a student quality which means it's not the best quality but it's, for what it is it's quite a good paper. Um, where I buy it, which is local in, in Australia, is um, I pay like $20 uh, for 12 sheets of A3 size paper. So out of that I get 72 card bases. I, I sit down in one evening and I just sort of sit there and cut everything up into this one size. I, I've been using the same die set to actually cut them all with so that all my cards are fairly uniform size. Unless I do a special card, of course, then it might be like a trifold, which will be different again. Um, but uh, they're pretty much uniform. Uh, colours, uh, sorry, uniform sizes. Okay, just using a, uh, this one is actually I think a number two round, still in the Art Basics brush that I'm using here just to do the small areas. I find that, yeah, that most of these brushes, th these two brushes I use most of the time. Now I've pretty much got the elephant blocked in there, now I'm just doing the ears. This is the picked raspberry, just a very pale colour I'm using, just a very probably quite well watered down. I'd say the brush is quite wet when I've actually picked up a little bit on the edge there. So it's barely showing but you can see a hint of the pink in the ears. I, I will come back and put a little bit darker I think later on where it's needed in the ears. And of course the toenails are done with the same colour. Oh, the palette that I'm using, all I've done there with the palette is taken a an A5 um, laminating pouch and cut a piece of paper slightly smaller than A5 and just laminated it together and I find that, that that for me is pretty much the best one I can use because really with these using these Distress Ink stamp pads you're not really using much in the way of water on the actual stamp so your water's not going to run off the edge of the table um, and get into a mess. It just sits there as you can see on the palette. It just sits there and you just dip into it. When you want a bit of wetness you just dip your brush into the water and just pick up the colour that you need. So you're not really worrying about having to have a proper uh, watercolour artist palette which basically has like little tubs, little pots uh, to hold the uh, liquid in but uh, because what I'm not using proper watercolours I'm only using um, these Distress inks. I don't really need that at this moment but I am planning on some point getting the uh, uh, some decent watercolours. Um, I've been thinking about getting the Tsukuneko Tamagotchi. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not sure of this. Anyway, that's uh, Tsukuneko um, Genzai Tambi. That's right, Genzai Tambi. Sorry about the uh, So anyway, that's that's what I was planning on getting at some point, but at this stage I haven't. Um, here I'm just doing a little bit of shading now with the uh, black soot. 
to sort of darken some of the areas so it basically does the, the shading and the highlighting. I've only recently um, had managed to get the die set for this. I've had the stamp set for probably three months and I've been wanting to do something with it but I tried doing something with it for my sister's birthday. She, she turned 65 this year uh, and I wanted to send her um, basically the card that I'm doing today. I was hoping to be able to do that and send her for her 65th birthday. However, I didn't have the die sets and I tried fussy cutting it and because of the, the little tail and the little bits and pieces and my scissors weren't the greatest, I even specially bought some scissors that are supposed to be special for uh, cutting, I um, uh, can't remember the name of the stuff, but for, for cutting the paper especially anyway. And for the cardstock, I guess it was too thick for the scissors and it didn't work. Uh, and it made like a very jagged edge on it so I thought no that's it I'm going to wait for the die set so I especially ordered the die set in the place where I actually buy the stamp set they weren't stocking the die set so I asked them if they could order it in for me so I had to wait another f maybe two months so it's only arrived in the last couple of weeks so uh, this is why I'm doing this now unfortunately I couldn't have done it earlier but anyway I, I think it's come out all right now with the hat as you can see I've got the color bars I've got on there is blue and pink on the other one that I do, I do it the opposite colours, so pink and blue, but the opposite colours. So you'll see that later on, but I don't actually show doing the second elephant and hat here. Uh, now I don't worry about putting any shading or highlighting on the hat, I think it's not really necessary. I think the elephant is basically is what you want to see. Uh, it'll stand out more if, with the elephant. Okay, now the balloons, uh, the die set on the balloons, the, the string is a solid block of things so you can't really see where you're lining up I've tried stamping the balloon first and then die cutting it but it's almost impossible to get it lined up even with this one trying to line it up with the stamp trying to line it up on the die cut was, was quite difficult too but I managed a bit better at least I got the string pretty much in there uh, but uh, with the die set I so saw that's what I've had to do was actually cut it first and then stamp it afterwards this is the only one I've got that I have to do that with of the, the few die sets that I've got. I don't have many because I've really only been collecting die sets for a little while and because they are quite expensive here in Australia there's you're limited obviously with a budget how many you can actually get at a time. Um, okay that's the pink one partially done and then I'm doing the blue one. This is using um, I think this wasn't broken china I think this was something darker than broken china I'm using here I can't remember. Um, but maybe it was, I don't recall, Broken China perhaps. Um, might have, no, it was Broken China, not Tumbled Glass. Tumbled Glass is the paler one of the two. So I'm just doing a quick dry there. I'll come back and put a little bit of shading on them. Uh, now, on here, I don't actually show doing it on here, but the highlight on the balloon that's marked there with the stamp, I actually do later on put a um, white gel pen into the onto, onto the the one that's on the top which in one card will be the blue one and on the other card will be the pink one will be on top so basically I've got a, a feminine and a masculine version of the same card uh, I actually did one of these cards recently and sent it to a uh, birthday that a man was having a 60 60th birthday and I managed just to make one for him and send it it came out quite cute I put a really good sentiment inside it and uh, I, th I thought it was quite good but unfortunately my husband wasn't well so we couldn't get to his birthday party so I don't know what his response was when he opened it. Now the, the cutting of these, the die cut goes through really easily, it cuts really well. This is only about the probably the fifth or sixth time I've actually used these dies. In fact the, the die set comes with, uh, even though the stamp set doesn't have it, it comes with like four hearts. One quite large uh, stitched or pierced, I can't remember and a smaller one stitched or pierced and then there's two small tiny little ones which are just cutouts. I haven't used any of those yet, all I've used is what you see here is all I've used out of this die set, the elephant and the hat. Um, sorry about it jittering like that, I've actually sped it up quite fast this part of it because it was uh, it's fairly long winded and actually doing what I did there. Now what I'm doing here is I've actually cut as you can see a blank because the cardstock that I used to actually paint the elephant and hat on is only 185 grams, so it's quite thin, quite flimsy for doing what I want to do here. The um, 
cardstock that I'm using behind that white blank one it's I think a 300 or 280 grams so it's quite a heavy duty one and you put the two together and it makes it fairly stiff so which is what I needed for doing what I'm doing here so as you can see I'm doing both of the um, cards elephants at the same time but most of the, the second card I'm not showing doing it this is the only part that you actually see getting done uh, and you'll notice what I mean about the hats down there how the colors are sort of reversed on the hats okay this is a, the if I had <laughs> years ago I actually had a Xyron uh, sticker maker and I actually gave it away it was a five inch one and I gave it away to my daughter-in-law thinking that oh, I'll never use it again and um, then I actually now in seeing this how difficult it is to actually use this with the ATG gun I thought well the sticker maker would probably be an ideal for this but uh, I will I think the five inch one I had was far too wide anyway for the little bits and pieces that I would need so I think later on I might actually get the smaller one the, the 150 or perhaps the 250 because uh, the uh, the what 500 510 it was actually is uh, it was there was a lot of wasted area that I wasn't using if I was only putting one or two little things in at a time there was a whole lot of area was wasted and I, I don't like waste so um, I thought well what I'll do is actually uh, maybe just get the smaller one now what I've done here is because I'm sticking them together when you put no matter how hard you try and push them together they just don't stick hard and that was actually basically clamping them together so that they uh, were nice and tight and firm and that they won't pop apart I'm just using uh, dots here what are they called uh, Kudra, no, that's yeah, Kudra Creations Glue Spot Minis is what I'm using here uh, just to stick the hats on. Um, it would be nice if I could have put those through the uh, machine too, but that would have probably just come out a little bit odd if I'd done that. Would have probably squashed it down too much in the one place, but they stay on all right. I mean, they're pretty good little glue dots, I think. I haven't used them much. Uh, that's the Marvi Snow Marker. I'm just using that for the pom pom on the top of the hat. Um, now, reading the instructions on the Marvy Marker, this is only the second time I've used it. The first time I actually just do it, did it like everyone else does and just put it on and then heated it straight away. But the instruction says to put it on and let it dry and then heat it. I tried that and it doesn't bubble. So uh, I had to put it on a second time and um, that's why I've actually put them off aside there to dry, and which I cut that out on the video, and um, put them aside and thought I'll come back later and... Um, blow them on the like put them on the screen but unfortunately the um, it didn't it didn't actually swell up it didn't work so I had to redo it so I didn't actually put that on the camera unfortunately but never mind I mean I'm sure you've seen that before with a lot of other places where they actually put them on it, it comes out quite good actually it, it looks like this almost looks like a styrofoam but it, it, it's, it doesn't have that sort of feel about it. it doesn't crumble off like styrofoam would but it's, it's a quite a good thing. I've never used it for snow. I've only actually ever used it on these hats. That's the only thing I've ever used it on. Now, this is where I'm using, I think that's shabby shutters. On, no, it might be crushed olives, I can't remember. Um, one of the two anyway. And then I decide, no, that's not dark enough. So I set it up again and then I bring in the forest moss. But the second card, I actually leave it with the lighter colour. And you'll see at the end the comparison between the two. I still don't know which one looks best. I mean, I think they look pretty good, both of them. Now this is the broken china I'm using to do the clouds. I just I chose to do the basically as a negative space of the clouds. I suppose you could say so. It's the the off cut of the clouds that I'm using the underside of the cloud here to do this. I have got the the um, mask that I've cut there. I've got both halves of the clouds cut on it, um, but I chose to do it this side. I, th I thought it looked quite good. They, they look quite good both ways. It depends on which way you want to do it. Whether you want to have more sky or more cloud. So. This is what I've done. You just have to have just a little bit of uh, ink. You don't sort of spread it too far. You just pretty much just rub it off the edge of the, the mask. You don't spread it too far down, otherwise you end up filling up the whole card with the blue and that's not what you want. You want to leave a lot of the white behind. And it doesn't matter if it's sort of thick and thin in places like I've got it there, uh, because you look at clouds and clouds are like that anyway. And I'm just filling in the little areas there where I sort of missed little bits and pieces just to fill it in. Okay, and that's what it looks like with the clouds and the grass. Um, the hill, the hill that I masked, that was just a freehand cut mask. I don't actually have any um, hill borders uh, die sets. Um, here I'm putting on a 
what do they call it? A uh, action wobbler, I think it's called, or just a wobbler. I don't know what brand it was. It's, uh, when I ordered, I just ordered five of these things, and they came in a packet with no markings on them. So they were probably something that the cut shop where I bought them from, I would say, has bought them in bulk and then just repackaged them. So there was no no brand name on them, so I can't even tell you what brand name it was. It just came from a local store here in Sydney. So I'll have to order some more of those soon. Now th this is a cloud come from the same set as the, the Pierced Cloud, which is the Avriel Pierced Cloud die set. Just There's two little clouds, and actually there's three. One of them pierces the, the card, but it doesn't cut it out, and the other two actually cut the cloud out and do the piercing and everything. So what I was doing there was just putting the, uh, the broken china just round the edge of it, just to sort of make it stand out a little bit. Now, there's the, I've put the blue one on um, the dimensional um, little dimensions, and I stuck the end of it down because that's going to sit behind the elephant on the wobbler. So if, if it was sitting up off the, gr off the uh, background without it being stuck to the background, it possibly might have gotten in, into the, um, mechanisms and actually stopped it from working properly so I've um, oh I don't know what happened there I've cut something something really hinky going on okay this is just putting the clouds on uh, what I actually had done there I was going to put the clouds flat one of the clouds flat and I had put the ATG glue on the back of it that's what I was picking off there a moment ago and then I thought, looked at it and I thought no I'll put that raised up as well like the balloon it just didn't look right sitting down flat on the card so I put it up on the three dim dimensionals and sitting it in there and I think that looks all right and then the other one I actually stamped the um, uh, every day as a gift or something like that on it you'll see it in a moment and using the dimensional uh, three, the 3D what are they called 3D uh, foam pads, sellotape foam pads, they're a small 3D pad. Ooh, dropped it in the wrong place. Okay, so that's that's the front panel complete. Every day is a gift, it says. So and then I'm just doing, um, stamping the inside. The first card, you can see off the, uh, the screen, top left hand side of the screen, this was the second one I'd done. The first one didn't quite come out right, so I redid the second one. Now here I'm just deciding which colour background to put on it, the darker blue or the lighter blue. So I decide with the lighter blue, so uh, the other one I've put the pink on already. So I've got a pale pink and a pale blue, sort of baby blue, baby pink colours. And I'm putting in the card thing in the middle and I, when I open it, I close it and I think, oh, did I put the right one in there? And I have to stop and have another look. I thought I might have put the wrong that I've rejected. <laughs> there it is still up there on the top because I put my ATG gun on top of it and I couldn't see it. But anyway, here we go, putting the top on and this is almost finished now. Okay, all pressed down, ready to go. And there's the action wobbler working. Okay, and there's the, the blue one done that I've just shown and then I'll bring out the pink one shortly as well. Um, that says wishing you the happiest of happy birthdays inside there and there's the two the pink one and the blue one the pink one's probably more for a girl sort of I suppose and the blue one can be for a girl or a boy okay well thank you very much for uh, watching and I hope you uh, enjoyed this if you can actually subscribe or send me a message if you'd like to see more I've actually got one more coming up soon thank you bye